Welcome to PR TV, California. California and their regulations. Well, apparently they want to do away with diesel trucks. Totally. Totally. I got the article here from Landline Now. Put up here on the screen. And let me get it right here. Hold on a second. That's why I'm a rookie. I'm a rookie at this. My rookie at this. Here we go, right there. Landline now. Landline.com. There you go. It's OYDA's media. Vision, but California adopts strict rules to do away with diesel trucks. Driving a diesel truck eventually may be a thing of the past in the Golden State now that the California Air Resources Board, or CARB, has approved the Advanced Clean Fleets Regulation. Wow. On April 28th, CARB unanimously approved of a sweeping regulation regarding the phase in of zero emission trucks called advanced clean fleets. The regulation requires that 100% of manufacturers sale be zero emission trucks by 2036. Drage operations, government fleets, and high priority fleets are affected by the regulation. Although advanced clean Fleets will require all truck sales to be zero emission vehicles by 2036. A phase in timeline will be implemented. For drage trucks, the regulation will require companies to register legacy trucks at the end of this year. Beginning January 2024, newly added drage trucks must be zero emission trucks. All drage trucks must be zero emission vehicles. By January 2035. Wow. The Advanced Clean Fleets regulations have a different timeline for high priority fleets. High priority fleets are fleets with 50 or more vehicles, fleets with more than 50 million in annual revenue, federal government fleets or entities that hire dispatch fleets, registration of older trucks and rules about newly added vehicles have the same timeline as drage trucks. However, high priority fleets need only to remove internal combustion engine trucks after their useful life, beginning in January 2025. CARB defines minimum useful life as fewer than 800,000 vehicle miles or 18 years from engine certification, but no less in 13 years. Half of the purchases for state and local government fleets must be zero emission trucks from 2024 to 2026. That's right around the corner. Starting January 2027, all purchases must be zero emission trucks. Wow. Good on you, California. One provision within the Advanced Clean Fleets Regulation called the Optional Zero Emission Vehicle Milestone Phase-In will allow more time for trucks with sleeper cabs to comply. For fleets with sleeper cabs, 10% of the fleet must be zero emission trucks by 2030, 25% by 2033, 50% 50% by 2036, 75% by 2039, and 100% by 2042. I don't think I'm going to be around to see that. Thank goodness. According to CARB, the Advanced Clean Fleets Regulation will save $2.65 billion in statewide health benefits from cryo-warranty from Criteria pollutant emissions and a net cost savings of $48 billion to fleets. Where do they get these numbers? CARB also claims that there are nearly 150 zero emission vehicle models to choose from 
in the United States. And there's a little chart right there. Go check out landline.com and look at that chart if you want to. And we have the technology available to start working toward a zero emission future now. Carb chair. What? Lyanne Randolph said in a statement, the advanced clean fleets rule is a reasonable and innovative approach to clean up the vehicles on our roads and ensure that Californians have the clean air that they want and deserve. I was going to say something there, but I stopped myself. At the same time, this rule provides manufacturers, truck owners, and fueling providers the assurance that there will be a market and a demand for zero emission vehicles. Yeah, because you're forcing the other ones out while providing a flexible path to making the transition toward clean air. However, some stakeholders believe the advanced clean fleets regulation is too ambitious. I would have to agree with that. California Trucking Association CEO Eric Sauer sent Landline the following statement. The California Trucking Association has for years urged CARB to listen to trucking experts regarding how the industry can successfully deploy zero emission trucks. However, CARB has outright ignored the nation's leading fleets and has put forth an overly ambitious, unrealistic, and unfeasible proposal. I agree. The current advanced clean fleet regulation expected to be adopted by CARB this week is deeply flawed and does not take into account the lack of charging infrastructure, the availability of electric trucks, the weight batteries will add to these vehicles, the environmental impact of battery production and disposal, and the potential impact on smaller trucking companies that do not have the resources to overturn their operation in such a rushed time frame. The only effect advanced clean fleets inflammation will have is that it will guarantee a complete dismantling of our state's trucking industry and have detrimental effect on goods movement and the entire supply chain the new regulation still needs approval from the u.s environmental protection agency before going into full effect wow california Zero emission trucks are implemented, or they're going to implement that if they get by with it. Uh, no more diesel trucks in California. Man, California is already got some really strange and financial burdensome regulations. And now, imagine if they can do this if the epa will let them get by with this who knows so let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this and if you experience anything out there in california or if you go to california a lot and expecting to uh get rid of your diesel and go zero emission i don't know it's crazy i appreciate everybody watching everybody have a good day and stay safe